Mighty number nine. Mighty number nine is something very familiar. Blasters, robot on robot action, and platforming puzzles reminds players of a certain blue bomber known as Mega Man. Incidentally, the game is made by the same team who created the Mega Man games. So does the game charge up a fan base that has been longing for a game for several years? Or does Mighty number no. nine make players run out of juice? As always, let's start with the graphics. This game's art style is no way cheap, but can be seen as lower quality by modern day standards. Having a similar look to not only Mega Man games, but Dreamcast era games and Saturday morning cartoons, Mighty Number no. 9 embraces the cartoon style to a maximum level. The cell shaded textures match the tone of the game perfectly, while the music is what you would expect from a Mega Man type game. No blood or gore is needed, but for some robot versus robot action, all you need to see is a few sparks fly. But even being strong in looks, the game drops frames quite a bit, meaning a laggier, choppy game. That on top of little to no shaders or light enhancements, the game is by no means a cutting edge example of modern gaming graphics. Not to worry, Beck. The storyline in the game is very. It is the present year. Minimal. You play as the ninth robot created by Dr. White, named Beck. The other eight robots, who are the greatest robot fighters in the world, apparently, were infected at the start of the game by an unknown force. This is almost a direct parallel to the Mega Man storylines, and as you progress through the game, defeating the other robots, you get more pieces of the story. On top of that, nothing really pops out as good in Mighty No. 9. The gameplay can not only be frustrating at times, but seems just stale. <laughs> Mega Man games over the years rehashed the same formula over and over again, but they never gave off a feeling of just general mediocrity. The creators were going for those same feelings, but in reality, they created a rush, lower quality version of a great game. To go into greater detail, the main character Beck has a dash attack that can also absorb power-ups through enemies that he has defeated. If the player dashes through the enemies at the right time, it will create a string of combos that make the power-ups Better. This is a neat system, but does not really affect the gameplay at all. Another problem with this system is that even after defeating several bosses, most players prefer the weak and wonky original attacks because they are more efficient. This gives many players little initiative to keep fighting through bosses in order to get the best perks. The dash also works as a platforming mechanism, creating a way for the player to complete puzzles and jumps. This barely changes throughout the game though, meaning that even later in the game you'll find yourself doing the same jumping puzzles over and over again. The game is also very frustrating in that the game mechanics do not always work and leave the player angry and confused. I so is Mighty Number no. 9 worth it? To be honest, no. I am a huge fan of Mega Man games, but Mighty Number no. 9 does not live up to its predecessors at all. The feelings of clearing an area, finding out how to solve a puzzle, and beating a boss all seem to be undershadowed by either the game's history, its controversies, or its very lackluster game mechanics. It seems that a project that had so much potential and hype surrounding it will most likely lead to even darker times for the Mighty Blue Bomber. Mighty Number no. 9 gets a 5 that this isn't our fault. Out of 10. Initializing power down sequence. Bye for now. What the bleep? Crikey, quit your lollygagging. Amazing! Zeus, just watching this gives me the heebie-jeebies. What? Poppycock! Jiminy! And a boy back! Absolutely! Sonda, get a hold of yourself! Where are you? Oh no, oh no, he's coming for me. Nothing, I don't want to hurt you, you're Boba Fett, you're my best friend. <laughs> oh, okay, you're my best friend too, come here baby. I don't, I, I, it's platonic. I don't want to touch you. <laughs> no, just come here. It's full of platonic. No, 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 no. Love me. Oh, is that what you wanted? Is that what you wanted? Perfectly fine. <laughs>